Hey, welcome back. And we are looking at this Time Chaser advert for this brief. And I think we've done like a, a fairly decent job at combining a few images. So we combine this image, we combine this image, and we combine this image. And a couple of them were Creative Commons, free to use from Pixabay, free for commercial use, no attribution required. And a few were actually, and one of them, the character I got from Google Images is copyright. Um, but I'm, I'm not too concerned about that right now, um, as it's just a project learning how to use Photoshop. Uh, you've got other characters here. If you're looking at other characters, transparent, and you can see them, uh, variants down there as well, similar variants. So I'm going to talk about using text today. Um, so we'll get the title, and we'll write in the text, Time Chaser. So over here, I'm just going to put Time Chaser. Chaser. You'll see it's quite small to start with actually. So we're going to increase that size to uh, size, uh, well actually we're going to make it white and we're going to increase the size by sliding it. You can see that my typo is all over the place. Let's just get that in caps and let's spell it correctly. Oh, that's not caps. Time Chaser. Okay, uh, we'll double click, center it and we'll increase the size even more. Now let's pick a convincing font because we know that with typography, typography tells a lot about um, what the project is about. So we can pick a font. I'm going to pick something that's quite uh, futuristic and heavy. Commando is okay, I suppose. Let's have a look at that. Commando works. I think I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So it's like this. There we go. So we've got Time Chaser there. And then what I want to do is I might just add, once again, a glow to that. I don't know if I can do an effect here. So once again, I'm somewhat freestyling this. So let's go to effects down here. And what happens if we do an outer glow on that? Can we do, oh yeah, that, that looks okay, but I want that to be red. Would that work? Red. Nice. In fact, I don't know about that. It's a bit too much, isn't it? Like when you go red... On, on that. There's too many colours going on. Well, actually, the red for this might work. It's okay. Um, other ideas which you might have. So we can untick that. I'll show you a few things. You can have a drop shadow instead. Can you see that drop shadow? It's quite subtle. But I want the shadow to go the opposite direction. So in terms of direction, uh, can I change the direction? Because it's going bottom left at the moment. Can we change that direction? How do we do that? Oh, um, uh, yeah. Is that what's happened? Oh no, that's like something to do with the contour. To the size. So that's increased or is that actually doing anything? Oh, we're still on outer glow, aren't we? Sorry, my bad. I was wondering like why that slider wasn't working. So here, opacity, if we slide that down, we see less of it. If we go more to the right, we see a harder drop shadow. The angle, I want it to go bottom right. You see that's changing the angle. Uh, here, yeah, so that's like a, a neat drop shadow, or oh, we can just keep it where it was. Distance, so that's like how far away it goes from the drop. Uh, I don't like the angle, I want the light coming that way. Cool, that, now it's like popping off the page a bit more. Spread, so that's making it heavier lighter about there is good and the size once again how much for drop shadow you actually want okay so you can have a play around with that another cool tactic that i like to use is rather than using the default drop shadow let's just turn that effect completely off all the effects off what you can do is you can duplicate this and then uh we can um just change the color of it so what we can do we can duplicate this layer so now we've got two time chasers, one on top of the other. And on the bottom layer, I'm just going to make that, say, uh, red or uh, a neon blue. So I'll give it like a neon blue so it pops out a bit. Let's have a look. Let's try this as my bottom layer. And then my top layer, did that even work? No, because I didn't actually select the color. Double click here, press OK. I need to press OK. Let's tick. Hmm, why did that not? Oh, I need to change the color up here. That's a fill color. Text colors up here. 
There we go, press OK. And then we've got that as such. So that's the top layer. Then over here, I've turned my white back on. And then if I use my move tool, I can move that slightly. So I'll move this layer slightly to the right. Can you see that blue coming through and slightly down? So that's another way to get like a lovely drop shadow. So that's the tutorial on text, like how to add text. And on the next one, I'll just talk more about like the conventions, like adding in things like the Peggy logo, the copyright text, and a few other things there.